Today I'm going to show you how to animate an image. And for example, the one that you see here, this is population by age in Australia starting in 1971 and going to 2016. And it's moving through every year in time and showing you the dynamics of how these data change. And you can also use this slider in order to isolate effects within generations and point them out. This example is based on a file that a user sent us where he had created this image that you see here, uh, but wasn't entirely sure how to take this and then animate it. And I'm going to walk through the steps of how I went from this file to the animation that I just showed you. Let's look first at the format of the data. Here we have a column for age, which is going from 1 to 101. And we have subsequent columns that have the data for the population within that age group for years going from 1971 out to 2016. If we look at the command that's actually drawing these, uh, the, these bars, this is a bar command, and it's specifically just uh, displaying the data for 2016. In order to animate this, we really need to have a column that has the value for the year in it. That allows us to mask on that. Uh, and so I'll show you how to do that. But first, to, let's get the data in the correct format. To do that, we have a functionality called flatten columns. And this is really handy. We highlight all of our columns. And if I say data flatten columns, it's appending all of this data to each other and taking the column header and making it a variable. So now the year is a column. There's one problem here, however, and this is partly what was making this uh, impossible to really animate, is that the age is now just adding numerically to this column, where what you really want is to have the age appended, where this would go 1 to 100, 1 to 100, or 1 to 101. Uh, in reality, however, the data really represents 0 to 1 for the first one age-wise. So I would really like it to be 0, 1, 2, 3. And let me show you how to do that. First of all, I'm going to Command Z out of this and go back to the original format. And the, the issue here is that the age column was really being set using this, what we call the number column. By default, when you open any new data graph file, you're always going to have this column on the left-hand side where you can change what it's called. Here it was changed to age. Uh, by default, it's just simply the number symbol. And you really don't want to use that for data in the way that it was used here. Um, it, it, it can be useful for a lot of different things, but uh, for the most part, it's really just counting the number of rows you have. And what we're going to do to make this flattened data work is to add another numerical column. We'll add this to the beginning. This is what I'm going to have the age set in. And I want this to go 0, hit Enter, 1, 2, and continue. Now rather than typing in numbers from 1 to 100, there's a shortcut to filling in this data. If I highlight all of the rows, I used Command A in order to do that. And then on this column age, I'm going to right click. And that gives me a context menu that's customized for this particular column, where because Datagraph detects the fact that the data is not all filled in, it has an option for setting the selected rows to 0, 1, 2, and continue. And sure enough, that will fill in the data for me. So now I have age from 0 to 100. Actually, there's one extra row here that I'm just going to go ahead and delete that. And now I can flatten my data, where when I select all of the columns that are going to be appended one to another, the value in the age column will be maintained. So I'm going to say data flatten columns. Now my population is a separate column, and the year is also now a column in and of itself, now I'll be able to animate this data. Let me go ahead and also change this to year. Now that our data is in the right format, let's go ahead and reconnect the command that was drawing the bars for us. Here's the command itself. This command is called a bar command. You can create it from scratch by going to 
the command menu and you say add bar and we're going to open the detail view here you can see that there is a mask that had been set up in this command originally just saying that uh, use the value which again was the age column from 0 to 100 actually this is not the mask that we want to use we're going to end up masking on uh, the year column and we're going to use this animation variable that you see down at the left hand side I'm going to change the name of this also to year uh, and you can call this whatever you want it, this isn't necessarily a date field specifically this is actually in this use case is just setting it to an integer value from 1971 to 2016 the range had already been set up in this file and uh, so you see how if I move the slider back and forth, then the value of this variable year changes to whatever the value is that you see in this field. So again, in my animation, I want the bars that are drawn to be masked such that the year will equal this value for year. And it's not showing up yet because uh, there's one more thing I need to do with my data here, and that is to get this to work, I need year to be a numeric column. Currently, it's just set to a text value, which you can see because there's this little AB value there. So if I say convert to a number, oh, and one last thing, the value, sorry, it needs to be set to uh, value and this needs to be set to age okay so now we have um, our graph is now connected again and let me go ahead and make this a little bit smaller so hopefully it's easier to see in the video itself but uh, and review a little bit what did I do here so I changed to make sure that the value in our data was what was being plotted because I again changed the data when I flattened it. I'm having the where variable to be plotted as age and that corresponds to where the bars themselves are being drawn and the so the height of the bar is the value. They're being plotted at the age variable and I'm masking it so that it's only plotting one year of data at a time and currently it happens to be set to 2008 because that's where my slider is. Notice now when I change this slider it's going to change the data that's being plotted. This is great. This is exactly what I wanted. Uh, but there's a few more tweaks that we need to do here to make this work and, uh, and to have it make sense because my generations that are being indicated here are not also changing with my slider. Let's also change the title because this currently still says 2016. And in order to include my animation variable in a title, what I would do is I would click this little uh, plus symbol to the right of my title bar. And as it says here, it's adding parameters as tokens into the title string and a token simply here is the value of a variable that's get dis gets displayed in a text field. So I'm going to uh, use my animation, the lowercase year variable as my token, hit enter, and well it's still set to 2016 because that's what my, uh, my value was here. But you can see now how that changes when I change my uh, my animation variable. Now in addition one thing that I would like to change is that you notice how the scale changes slightly at the end as the value for the population grows to a point that's slightly above uh, what's currently being shown in my graphic. There's an, an easy way to fix this so that you maintain the same y-axis and uh, and it d the y-axis won't change then over time so you can really then see just the growth in the data itself to do that what I'm going to do is I want to pull out the maximum value that's going to be plotted on this graphic and that's a really easy thing to do I can use this gear menu that's on the uh, definition of this entry for value 
and click on that and there's a shortcut there's a number of shortcuts here but we're going to use the one that says number from column and I want to extract the maximum value and let's just call this the uh, max uh, pop for max population and we'll go ahead and then uh, then we want to actually use this value within our graphic and the way to do that to control the uh, the axis setting it, we're going to go in here into the axis settings and open the detail view and this is gives us the in, the view where we can change how the, the or limit or either limit or say what should be included into the x and y axis range in this case this is in include in y so we want to make sure that this number is always considered part of the data that's being plotted. Data Graph will use that and then it also applies a 10% padding, which is what is set here by default. Uh, so now, I'll go ahead and close the axis detail view. Let me go ahead now oops, and move my slider. And now you'll see there's no jump in the Y axis. That stays the same. I've gotten you to the point now in this video where you can animate the data itself using the animation variable. And in the next part of this video, in part two, I'll go over how to animate the elements of the graphic here that are annotating the graph, specifically the range commands and the label commands that are labeling these three different generations. In the meantime, if you have questions, please email us at help at visualdatatools.com.